What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a channel updates. Let's get right into this. I've been diving in and trying to create some more new content for you guys and even looking back at previous stuff that I've done and introduce that for you guys as well. So you guys might have seen over the past couple months, I've been diving more into my Flipping for Profit series. The reason for that is because not only am I making extra money on the side, but I am also enjoying making that content for you guys. However, because of the pandemic, it's been harder for me to find deals for you guys. Right now, thrift stores are closed because we're still in lockdown at the time I'm recording this. Next week, things are supposed to start opening up, so hopefully I'll be able to get in thrift stores and get some more products to flip on eBay and other places, but I want to continue with that series. Me and my girlfriend are also going to be looking into doing more videos together for my channel. It's more specifically more taste tests and different things like that. We do have a munch pack purchased and a Mexi crate. We just have no time right now to record those videos. So once we have time to record those videos, we're going to be recording them and uploading those appropriately. And I'm really excited because I am extremely interested in YouTube. You guys know this and she's starting to want to do more videos too ever since she did her first one a while back and it did pretty decent for views more than what my regular munch pack and taste test videos do which i'm assuming it's because she was there with me it wasn't just me tasting stuff it was both of us so there's a little bit more back and forth than my regular taste tests are used to so that's interesting and i'm excited that she's excited to do more videos on the channel and i can't wait to do more stuff with her and of course I want to bring back stuff, but one thing that is really doing well on the channel is tech videos. So um, PS4, how to fix or different things and it's really exciting. So I know my first blue light of death video for the PS4, which was two years ago, it is almost hitting 500,000 views on YouTube. I think it's at 450, something like that, which is crazy. I've done since then an update a couple weeks ago, back in January maybe, uh, for the blue light of death. I've done how to fix error messages on your PS4, how to fix your controller if it won't connect. And some of those videos are starting to gain traction, which I'm extremely happy and hopefully they will be able to gain the traction that they need to start to hopefully skyrocket. Now, unfortunately, because of YouTube, once January hit, I'm still doing the same watch hours. I'm still getting the same amount of views, except I'm not earning as much. I'm earning about half of what I was earning monthly for October, November, December. January and February are about half of what those months were. So it's been a little bit more stressful there, but at least the channel is still making a little bit of money. And hopefully some of these videos can start to pick up to make up for the less money that the channel is earning. Another thing that seems to be doing really well is anything that I talk about my career journey. Now people just want to know more about CBSA, security, a lot of the practice tests, uh, the firearms videos that I do. So hopefully I'll be able to make more of those for you guys. Some of those videos are close to getting 10,000 views. So if that's something you guys want to see, I will do more. Unfortunately, there's not going to be new content on CBSA or anything like that because they're still closed but I'm still willing to make that content for you guys since you guys are so interested and give you guys updates on certain things or certain requirements to do for testing and give you guys updates on that in future videos. I've been wanting to do a lot more unboxing videos. I recently back in January purchased a Zek box which I seen do you nerd unbox and I thought it was very interesting. If you're in the US, this box costs $60 shipped. Unfortunately, if you're in Canada, it costs $120 shipped. So it just is a little bit too pricey for me for what I received. There was about maybe 15 comics in it. I might try it again in a couple months and purchase one more to try it. I am looking into Mile High Comics and they offer a five pound comic book box, which equals out to be about 40 comic books. For $50, all of them in near mints. Now, not all of them are bagged and boarded, but all of them are going to be in near mint condition. Now, you can select all Marvel, and at least I'll know I'll get all Marvel comic books in this. So that's interesting there. And shipping is only $7 US to get it shipped to Canada. So that's a total of $57 US. That would equal out to be about $70 Canadian. And I'm going to get 40 comics compared to 15 comics for the Zek box. So 
I'm leaning more that way, $50 cheaper and you get a lot more comics. I only purchased the Zek box mainly for the comics, so I think this is going to be something that hopefully I'll purchase and get more of in the future, and I'm excited to give them a try. And not only that, but I want to unbox other things on the channel. I'm thinking of bringing back a Wish unboxing video and a bunch of other things. I want to do some eBay mystery boxes for... Uh, Funko Pops and different things like that and grow a collection a little bit more and stuff and bring that stuff to the channel as well I think that'd be a lot of fun another thing me and my girlfriend might do is a Japanese Kit Kat taste test I did one maybe three years ago, but she's never tried any of that stuff I don't remember what that stuff tastes like so I might try to find those and do those and a Pocky taste test with her as well and bring it back not only more taste tests, but just more fun videos in general, I think is something that I really want to focus on the channel this year. So just a recap for the channel, expect to see more tech videos, more unboxing videos, more flipping for profit videos, and more videos with my girlfriend, hopefully some taste tests and different videos that we decide to do together. We're also considering right now to do cooking videos on the channel. I absolutely love cooking and we love cooking together, so that's something that would be interesting to bring on the channel because we have a bunch of dishes that we love and they're some of our signature dishes. I love to show you guys how we make them and they are amazing. So that's something in the future, if you guys want to see, let me know because that's something that we might consider doing down the line. And as always, if there's anything that you guys would like to see on the channel, feel free to comment them down below and let me know what you guys would like to see. If you guys think there's something that you guys if you guys think there's something that you guys would like to see me unbox on the channel, let me know. I do have YouTube funds that I'd be able to use appropriately if it's not too expensive and try out for the channel. So I'm fully willing to do that and I'm really excited to do that. If you guys liked this video, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy and I can't wait to share a lot more new content with you guys later this year. See you guys in the next one. Peace.